You know, I wonder if part of our inability to memorize somebody else's lines has to do with our measure of wanting to feel as though we're in control of our environment. But it seems like you'd be in more control if you could memorize it because there nothing could go wrong. You know, you just oh, say the words. No, that, no, that's not your words. It's yeah, not, but even if you, I wrote words, I can't memorize my own words. I, I just, it's just, I can't oh, do I can't that. either. I don't know what that is, but it's, it, that's why I never did well in history because it was strictly memorizing and I- Me neither. I, do it. I had to go to Pearl Harbor to remember Pearl Harbor. If I read about it, I, I would not be there. You know, it just memorizing is just not, I have to experience something. But I, I think it's really interesting to, to see what things we, we naturally um, can say and do. And, and I think for speakers, a lot of them try to memorize right off the bat. And then, then that, that's when you feel really like you get that deer in the headlights look when your PowerPoint presentation doesn't work or something doesn't go right. You have, if you've totally relied on strictly memorizing, you're, you're in trouble. You can never do that because at the moment of the greatest stress, you know, somebody in the audience may blow his nose or something. Yeah, right. And then, and then you forget everything you have memorized. And I, 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 I suggest you don't do that. But getting back to what we were initially talking about, about- what was it again? <laughs> doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs uh -huh. versus those people who, I mean, who, who do a good job mm -hmm. in those different fields mm -hmm. uh, are suddenly faced with welcome to Hollywood. And then the question is, do you know how these things work in Hollywood, which is now transfixed into your original content. Because everything's kind of Hollywood now. People don't even recognize it. It's all theater now. Yeah. And, and, and one of the candidates said, I don't have any ambition to be on the television or radio. And oh, I said, that's not good. That's not, that's not, he didn't even know, he was trying to be humble. Yeah. Saying, you know, I want to do this work and I have no interest in doing anything other than I'm not looking to uh, boost my ego or anything, but he doesn't even realize. Okay, so, so these are the elements that we have to establish. First of all, you have to be controversial in order to be picked up by the media because their attitude is what bleeds leads well it's and that's why ted's so big because their ideas are kind of counterintuitive titles like yes you know why i you know yeah exactly. why cheating helped my marriage kind of things you know what i mean they're, right. they're the opposite of what you would think intuitively that's exactly right now, now the titling is very important but we have to understand and train the professional people who are genius at their jobs and genius in their professions that now they have another profession to learn. And it's that you have three seconds to get somebody's attention and you only have five seconds, five seconds to hold that attention. And then if you have held that person's attention, if you're lucky, you'll get 30 seconds, the length of an average commercial. So you cannot afford not to learn this stuff. And if you think that this is any different from the way we perform on video calls today, it is not because everybody knows 30 seconds and <gasps> snooze time. <laughs> I mean, we know we have been conditioned from the commercials. So we know we only have a limited amount of time and we better grab them because if you don't use your power, you're gonna lose your power and it can happen this quickly.